Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to create a helical gear in PTC Creo Parametric 3. So before creating a helical gear, we need to remember certain things and there are certain parameters that has major involvement in helical gear creation. So these are the six parameters and based on these parameters, there are certain formulas that are derived. So you can find these formulas online and thirdly we have involute curve equation which is used to create the tooth of helical gear so let's get started go to sketch and select a plane and draw a circle of certain diameter now don't bother about the dimension because later on we relate it to the parameters that we creating just after that go to extrude and hit ok now go to model intent and create parameter so first parameter is number of teeth number of teeth are number of teeth are 32 create another parameter that is normal module and give a value of 2.8 create another parameter that is the pitch diameter of 100 millimeter make sure all the dimensions are in millimeter and next is normal pressure angle normal pressure angle and the value is 20 another parameter is helix angle create helix angle helix angle is 26 and last is width and give a value of 25 so these are the parameters that we need right now and similarly go to model intent and go to relations and copy paste these relations for the helical gear and make sure to verify them and hit ok now sketch three circles on the front plane and now we relate the dimensions to the parameter so this is uh, outer diameter it is this is pitch diameter yes this is base diameter and hit ok now double click on that and write root diameter and double click on that and say width and yes now double click now we need to create the involute gear profile for that go to datum curve and curve from equation select all the coordinate system and planes points and axis select a coordinate system this and for equation copy paste this equation and 
verify that and hit ok so it create involute gear profile here now go to front plane and reorient the sketch and take the reference of this involute curve and all the circles created and now go to a center arc center and end arc and go to center arc and one two now select again go to center and arc so one two three and go to normal and give this value a normal tooth or the transverse tooth thickness so copy and give this value transfer to thickness and yes and hit ok now select that sketch and we need to create a datum point here and now give the value 0.5 and hit ok now by using this point we need to create a datum plane now go to datum plane select this point and the center axis and hit ok now mirror this involute curve about this plane and hit ok now we need to create the helical sweep as a surface for that select the datum plane define the datum plane 1 and reorient it now take the reference and close this and hide all these now create a center line now make sure this center line is coincident with the axis and now take a line from this point to this and escape and give this value the pitch diameter that is the pitch diameter and yes and hit ok now double click on pitch and give value lead and yes and now go to this sketched section and draw a line line from here up to here give the value 50 and hit ok so you see a surface is created here now we need to create the section that is sweeped along that trajectory so go to sweep and select this edge and go to references and select constant normal direction and for that select this face and in horizontal vertical control select normal surface and now select the sketch that need to be projected so go to project and select this edge now delete the unwanted sketches that are projected here and delete this and delete this and hit 
okay so this is the tooth profile that is required now go to and hide all the sketches now only axis display need to be shown here now select this tooth and pattern it around the axis and select this section and the number of teeth are 32 and hit ok and now go to round and select this and give the value 0 0.5 this is the fillet radius and hit ok now select this fillet radius and pattern it it will take some time to regenerate all the features that are created here and our component is fully regenerated and now go to chamfer and select these edges and hit ok now similarly select these chamfer and pattern it and ok it will take some time to and now what we need to do is sketch uh, hole for the shaft and let's say this is of 35 dimension and a key way for that trim out the section that is unwanted and select a center line here and select these two lines and mirror about this and trim out this section and hit ok now go to extrude and change the direction and hit ok so this is the surface hide now give the chamfer here at this edge and hit ok so this is how now hide the surface to this curve too so this is how a helical gear is created using the involute equation curve equation and for the shading purposes you can shade this too so i hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching